Viewfinder is a relatively easy puzzle game with a strong art style, a cozy atmosphere, and a simple plot. I'll warn you when we get into spoiler territory, but for now everything I talk about and show on screen can be found in the game's first level. I feel like a lot of people are going to go into this game expecting a super difficult puzzle game, and that's not exactly what this is in my opinion. If you really want to appreciate this game, look at the creativity of it. Look at how the components of previous levels build upon themselves to form something pleasing, and how the game poses questions like, what happens if I sever this wire, or what's going to happen if I take a picture of myself? and use it, and then let you answer those questions yourself without hand-holding. To rephrase it, this game is more about art and novelty than it is about logical nuance. And I think the game really understands this too, because the first world it puts you in is Aaron's Hub, and that's a world that really hones in on this game's beauty and creativity. But to go back to what I was saying earlier, you won't find a lot of eureka moments here, you'll just find a lot of spectacle, and I think that's totally fine. This isn't the kind of game that you play to feel good about yourself when you solve a difficult puzzle. In fact, I don't think a single level in this game took me longer than three minutes when I stopped looking for collectibles. And there was only really one puzzle in the game that everyone agrees on will make you stop and think, how am I supposed to solve this? But again, Again, let's take a step back from the fact that this is a puzzle game and admire it for what it is. Something that is absolutely breathtaking from start to finish. Every new hub that you enter really does feel personalized to the character that it was created for. Every painting that you pull off of a wall will fill you with excitement, wondering what's going to happen when you use it. And I think that joy is the most important takeaway from this game, more than the puzzle aspect. I'm going to start to get into spoiler territory, so turn the video off now if you don't want the plot spoiled for you. And now that they're gone, this review is going to take on a little bit more of a negative tone. I found the story to be basic, a little melancholic, and frankly put, kind of melodramatic. But fortunately, this is a small gripe. The story is living in the background of the game 99% of the time, so it's never going to get in the way of the spectacle. The story tries to keep you engaged with some group tensions and an overall explanation of what you're doing, but it's so shallow I can describe it in one sentence. You enter an artificial space created by a group of four people as a last-ditch effort to reverse climate change by unraveling the mysterious research project that they were conducting together. The only part of the game that elicited some real emotion in me was at the very end, when you're destroying the simulation to free yourself, and you see the ever-smiling AI cat, Kate, frown and cry as he fades away forever. It felt like an absolute sucker punch, and I'm not sure if it was totally deserved, but hey, they got what they wanted, and I felt bad in the end. All in all, the story has a very humanity-opened Pandora's box, but we found hope at the bottom of it kind of feel, which might be someone's jam, but isn't entirely mine. So if you've got a weekend to spare and you want to spend it with a puzzle, this game's perfect. On any other day though, it's probably a 5 out of 7, leaning towards a 4.